FIRE 3 and 80405 are, are very interesting du dual, dueling studies. They were started around the same time in 2003 or 2004. FIRE 3 is a European study that built on full theory as a backbone. 80405 built on choice of full theory or full fox because in the U.S. full fox being much more popular. FIRE 3 uh, had the same randomization, cetuximab and bevacizumab, as we did. Although in our original study design, we had two biologics together. Where the, where the rubber meets the road, though, is the results are different. FIRE 3, the results, as first presented in KRAS wild-type patients, both studies did not select originally, realized early on that we should be selecting for KRAS wild-type and made that change, made that pivot. FIRE 3's results showed that cetuximab was superior to bevacizumab in patients. Uh, in that study by about three and a half months. Then when they analyzed the all RAS population, which essentially is getting rid of the patients from your mix who are not, you think won't respond because they're RAS, they have a RAS mutation, the difference was seven and a half to eight months between cetuximab and bevacizumab. We did our study, and I, I, obviously there are other issues, like it or not, there's an industry sponsor in Europe that might have some interest in the results. Don't know. I don't think they don't fabricate things, but they may put a different spin on it or look a little differently at things. Our study, 80405, was a cooperative group study, where we, our original goal was to look to see a difference. Again, we amended it. We thought patients would live 22 months at, uh, when we started. They all lived 30 months, and in our study, we saw no difference at all between the two groups. Uh, why is that? Uh, and in fact, two years ago, I was literally in the middle of a mud fight, and of a, of a mud slinging fight, because people were trying to figure out who was right and who was wrong. Was FIRE 3 right or were we right? Was 80405 right? I said then and I say now, because you get different data doesn't mean one's right and one's wrong. Let's try to understand it. The FIRE 3, inv the Fire 3 investigators have been incredibly collegial and collaborative, and we've worked together to try to figure this out. We put some of our data together. We have had a couple of, of, of publications, a couple of papers. Uh, in this case, in fact, what, what we now have figured out over the course of the last few months, as we get a better understanding of the fact that colon cancer right and left-sided are different, what we now realize is that it, it may very well be the explanation for why our results are different because it, it turns out in the FIRE 3 study, 77% of the patients had left-sided cancers, and in 80405, 68% had left-sided cancers. And because of the way that cancers play out, the way that prog they're prognostic for sidedness, we think that may explain much of the difference. There's also, of course, just different patterns of care and different things that make results different. In terms of how do we interpret it, I think we would interpret things the same way FIRE 3 investigators do uh, now. Now, when FIRE 3 came out, it was all about cetuximab trumping bevacizumab. I'm uh, sorry for that pun. Cetuximab uh, beating bevacizumab. And, uh, and in the U.S., we didn't, we didn't see that. And so there was a fair bit of conflict. Uh, and it also is a function of different societal per preferences. In the U.S., Patients mostly don't like, bev don't like cetuximab. It's a rash. It's, they don't like to have the rash. Doctors probably don't like to see patients with the rash. All of these are factors. In terms, though, of how they change the care, in fact, until the last couple of months, the FIRE 3 data would meant in Europe most patients started with cetuximab, and in the U.S., patients could start with either one. The recent data that I presented, uh, one of the things that made the presentation more powerful, I believe, is I was provided the internal data from FIRE 3 on the left versus right side question. And that data looked almost identical to our data, even though the patients had a very different outcome overall. And the two of, the, two of those data sets together make a pretty compelling story that patients with right-sided colon cancer shouldn't be treated with cetuximab and left-sided, you could go either way. So we've gone from having disparate results where there's big debate to realizing that in a number of instances, our studies are exactly the same, and I think that's helped clarify some of these questions. 80405, we had 1,137 patients to the primary endpoint. 
uh, in the analysis of, of that I presented now, the sidedness analysis, 46 patients, we couldn't determine the side of the primary. Now, how do we get we determine this? Somebody had to go in and look in every medical record to figure out what the side of the primary was because we didn't get the data in in real time. And I can I believe it's it's pretty reasonable. The reliable there was a reliable person who got all the data and figured out the side of this, and that was me. So so at least there was not a research coordinator or somebody getting that data. Again, in our series, 46 I couldn't determine. 66 had transverse colon primaries. 730 some had left side and 200 some had right side. Um, we, if, we, if we excluded the transverse colon patients, we had about 700 and 200 in the two arm, in the two different sides. In terms of the patients, di the diseases really look different in the patient characteristics. Even though the average age of our patients was only 58 years of age, a very young group for colon cancer, in fact, the patients with right-sided cancer were, bit, were older than the left side. The patients with right-sided cancer were likelier to have peritoneal disease than the left side where there were more meta liver mets. The patients with uh, right-sided disease tended to present with synchronous disease. They were already stage four. Not surprising, right? We, clinically, we think they're different. When you look at a big series, they did turn out to have different characteristics. And in terms of the results, Again, patients on the left side had a 33-month survival versus 19 months on the right side. With cetuximab, it was, 20, it was 36 on the left and 16 on the right in our study. These are really stunning numbers, right? I mean, we're not used to seeing, we're used to seeing three or four month difference, that's a lot. And here you have a 20-month difference between treatments on, on side of, based on the side of the cancer. It's a, it was really a remarkable result. One that I actually wasn't convinced was true. I thought maybe they'd screwed up the code, only to then look at the get the FIRE three data, which showed the same results we had. Uh, again, I think fundamentally, it uh, it really what it does is it directs us to understand the biology. Because I would emphasize, right and left side is not something magical. It's the biology of the cancer, the bad genes, BRAF, that tends to be on the right side you get a, a confluence of events on one side or the other, and that's what changes the outcomes. We are, in the future, we're actually talking, as I said, of combining our data with FIRE 3 investigators to get power to really figure out if we can't solve, the, solve some of these questions.